and welcome back to the YouTube channel of Connect Info Systems, your ultimate source for all ERP solutions. So today we will be talking about intercompany transactions in Odoo version 17. So currently we are on Odoo version 17 database. You can see I have already configured two companies that is A company and B company. Dive into general settings. Here you can see we have this menu of user and companies. Under that we have this sub menu of companies. By clicking on new we can create new companies. Now to do a intercompany transaction we need to make sure that this feature intercompany transaction should be activated. In this video we will be cover the synchronization of sales and purchase order so we need to uh, tick this checkbox of intercompany transaction and select the synchronized sales and purchase orders after that there is an option of create as and use warehouse so we can create uh, select a user as a create as and use a warehouse so if we have multiple warehouses we can select any warehouse from uh, which we are going to transfer the stock to another company you can see generate a validated purchase or sales order using warehouse my company when a company confirms a sales and purchase order for a company we need to make sure that this feature intercompany transaction should be activated in both the companies so currently we are on A company, let's switch to B company. Here let's search for intercompany. You can see we have already activated this feature and synchronized sales and purchase order is already selected. Now to do intercompany transaction again going to A company. Let's suppose we want to we want to transfer five quantity of particular product to our B company so we need to create a sell order for that so creating a quotation first and as a customer we need to select our company in which we want to transfer the quantities of that particular product now we are going to select that product and we can add a uh, quantities Suppose we are sending a 5 quantity of product desk. Let's open a product. You can see currently we have 10 quantities on hand. Now let's confirm the order. Delivery order has been created and it is not validated yet. So we already created a sell order from A company and in the B company as a receipt a purchase order would be created. So let's open a purchase application. So this is a purchase order with the reference number of that particular sell order that we have created in A company. Now you can see uh, desk and quantity 5 and this purchase order is already confirmed and receipt is created to receive the goods first we need to confirm the delivery order from our A company so we are switching to A company now and opening a sell order opening that uh, SO number 6 and validating the delivery option. So we have already validated the delivery that is demand of 5 and we have done the quantity of 5. Now let's go to sell order. Again let's open this product you can see. Currently we have 5 quantities on hand. Earlier it was 10 quantities. But now we have transferred the 5 quantities to our B company. So the stock of this product desk in A company is 5, product, five quantities. Now let's switch to B company.
let's open a purchase application we are on b company now opening that purchase order number 05 you can see the vendor reference of sell order number 6 now we can validate our receipt so we have validated the receipt and let's open that product in our b company you can see we have 10 quantities on hand in our b company furthermore we can also see the record in purchase so you can see for the purchase order number 5 and order reference of 06 we have received a quantity from our partner a company worth through 700 per unit so this is how we can do the intercompany transactions in odoo version 17 Thank you.